so it's the first day Rudolph is a single guinea pig yesterday we had a little funeral we took Barney in a beautiful place pretty flowery in spring but a nice wild garden there are lots of children are playing there are lots of people going out doing dog walk and riding bicycles and playing games so I decided to let him run for free here in my apartment in companion with the big boy Hey big boy, how are you doing? Are you okay? So Rudolph is born at the end of June, the same like Barney was. And Wilson is born in September uh, 2021. That means Wilson is one year older, more than one year older than the two guinea pigs. And he's a rabbit and Barney and Wilson are guinea pigs and Barney left us on the end of May and since no animal should be alone I decided it's finally time that the two can meet each other personally without getting any interruptions or borders I just take action when they're truly hurting themselves until then I let them run and hopefully they don't destroy anything and hope they can support each other I do know guinea pigs and rabbits don't belong as partners in nature to each other but hopefully they can teach each other a bit and helping each other out. And none of them is hurting the other one we also don't did it as they were a team of three they never hurt each other they never bite each other and I have this cartoon here uh, I once ordered a plant online from uh, Great Britain and it yeah the plant was delivered via deliveries <laughs> delivery service uh, of Great Britain and I kept a box and made a kind of as I had time and uh, don't felt very well during COVID. I uh, decorated unsenseless, without any sense, the box, 
put on flowery paper for whatever reasons and made kind of uh, paper installments here and put uh, plastic triangles on the edges and filled it up with hay and it was always closed until one day Wilson decided to destroy these these things you know uh, when you uh, keeping a a pet like a guinea pig or a rabbit traditionally uh, they recommend very often to keep it in the cages with these things here so uh, Wilson decided to destroy all the things so uh, I opened the box and since then he is hopping a few days in there I hiding three dolls in there like like these ones, hiding three dolls in there and also sticks, wood sticks I do not know if there's something in there currently, I have no idea and uh, also um, Barney used it uh, as resting place as he didn't fit well so uh, he slept there I put on uh, hay over him so that he can sleep calm like a baby so it's a kind of play area for whatever reasons I do not know I do know it doesn't look stylish fancy or something like this but uh, they can um, explore things you know they can hop in the edge and then they can uh, look out like in a window and I can um, put on or hide tree doors and uh, can remove and remove things and add new things to play in it and so so I keep it uh, as long as it's stable and not totally destroyed by biting marks and what you hear in the background, uh, this is Wilson. Because I also store hay in these doses, in these doses here. So he's working on his hay dose. And Rudolf uh, is explaining it, it as well. I try to... Uh, get him new input so that he doesn't have time to think so much and maybe he will not develop any any weird personality issue or something like this because uh, he and Bernie uh, they were bound together as I adopted them they were bound together Seriously, they don't give uh, one pig or the other away without each other. Uh, you only got them in a bundle. So I hope he will not develop any personality issues or something like this. And I tried in the last months everything possible to, uh, to save uh, the friendship of the two in for whatever reason. And what I haven't missed is to make a fancy, luxury looking uh, coffee in for Barney. Uh, but I think uh, you will understand that I cared about his health until the last minute. Uh, we hoped uh, natural curing will help him over because um, it was kind of not allowed to go to a professional uh, pet or vet doctor they immediately had give him sleeping pills so the guinea pig uh, would have been dead until he lived so um, we didn't went that way it came with a lot of sad days with a lot of tears but I made my experiences with vet, do vet doctors and uh, guinea pigs and pus already a few times so um, of course when the guinea pig has cancer or something like this and when you know 
you can save the guinea pig and they have a uh, kind of issues like uh, they are getting kids or they are having a uh, really bad maybe uh, they need surgery or something like this uh, go to a vet do this or they when when they get uh, when they need a vaccination or something like this but the thing bunny had uh, was a kind of paralysis shock so uh, the vet would immediately suggest this to put him on sleeping pills so uh, we decided not to do that way. I do know uh, there are lots of haters out there judging me that I uh, kept him alive during the last months. But, uh, you know, when uh, you have a guinea pig couple, these are two males and they are bounded to each other. Um, it's not easy to make the right decision. And I hope it's the right decision. I do not know. Uh, time will tell, like uh, the saying goes in Germany. So until then, uh, Rudolf is making friendship with Wilson. A guinea pig is making friendship with a rabbit. It's also nice. And yesterday, Rudolf was the first time really outdoors. He was in the nature and he did a fabulous job and listening to uh, what mommy in that case it's me <laughs> yes what uh, mommy told him to do and what not to do and he's eating brave he doesn't show any signs of anxiety or something like this he has his own personality and he is a full functional male guinea pig uh, at the end of June he's getting one year, he's born in cancer and had his little one an eye issue, his left eye got blurry from one day to another. Uh, I was afraid that it get infected or something like this but it hadn't. It healed wonderful and since then uh, it didn't get blurry again. So. I deciding from one video to another, uh, I do not know if I should keep the, the playlist alive. I started once to educate or to show some insights uh, when you have a guinea pig who is getting a kind of disease from one day to another you can't explain to yourself. You know, when you have such a tiny creature, it's uh, things like diseases are spreading super fast it's insane and it's devastating to look at it when from one day uh, to another or from one week to another you see uh, all the energy and life is coming out of, uh, of, of your pet it's really not nice so are you done here? what are you doing? are you redecorating? So um, I will now stop the video because Rudolf is making his guinea pig jokes. <laughs> He's really a brave boy and uh, I do not know if I will upload it today or next week. But see you there and thanks everyone for your comments down below in the box.